Hello once again, and greetings from Japan on lovely winter afternoon here. Uh, the winters here in, in Tokyo tend to be uh, dry and sunny, uh, chilly, too, and, and it gets cold too, but um, dry and sunny is pretty, pretty common, which is very pleasant for winter time. Okay, so here we have a Mitsubishi Delica D5. It's a particularly nice one. It's got the lift-up uh, body, so it's um, it's got uh, I forget the name of the suspension, but uh, it's got a brand name suspension and these lovely wheels with nice Toyo tires on them. Uh, it's a 2007 December. Uh, with 76,000 miles, 123,000 kilometers, I think. And uh, grade four, just a very nice, clean car. It's a uh, pretty rare color. It's that dark forest green, which is not common in this car, but I think it matches the styling very well, especially with these wheels and the lift up package. So, and, uh, and also the front. The front has got some, uh, it's got the, uh, an optional, uh, I presume it's a dealer, dealer option possibly, um, extra kind of nose package on the front, which is rather nice, and nice uh, fog lights. Um, okay, so yeah, 2007 December, um, nice car. So we'll take a look. It's got these, yeah, mm, very nice matching wheels all round, which are very clean, with really good Toyo tires. As I say, it's got really good clearance, um, especially if you remove the steps. I'm not so keen on the steps myself, but somebody in my writing. It's got joust uh, mud flaps all round, which is, that was a dealer option. Link of mirrors, of course. Okay, moving to the back. We have uh, um, uh, a very nice exhaust. Again, I forget the name of it. With a rear, rear. I don't know if it's a reverse light or a fog light, but it could be converted to a fog light. And just flaps on the back as well. And it comes with two, two keys. Uh, his and hers, uh, whatever you want, but his and his, and uh, okay, we'll just unlock it and look in the back. Rear camera, of course. It's eight seater, nice clean interior, matching the exterior. You can see it's got um, rear entertainment, CD player, the rear passengers. Okay. Right. Yeah. Very clean on the back. Yeah, I particularly like the color. So um, most of them are white, some black ones, and some silver, very rare, light blue. Okay. If you're looking for something for off-road, this is certainly the, probably the best off-road people carrier uh, that is available. Um, and this one in particular because it's got the extra lift up suspension. Doesn't look like the previous owner did any off roading though. Probably lived in a metropolitan area. Got these nice little extra edging on the arches. Okay, take a look in the back. Of course, yeah, this one only has, yeah, it has one power door, I think, this one. 
So this the near side door is, is powered. I mean, for detailed pictures, please do refer to the uh, Dropbox link. Probably has 60 odd photographs, including comprehensive pictures of the uh, underneath. Rear remote that will be sent, obviously, with uh, all the uh, paperwork. Anything like that we send by mail because there is always the possibility of somebody lifting it. It's a very nice interior. As I say, whoever had this was probably an, an urban dweller. And uh, there's no evidence whatsoever he's been off the, uh, the um, tarmac. Okay. We point on these um, on these D5s if you are buying them is the sponge. The driver's seat sponge tends to uh, can do if, with a heavy person it can uh, uh, be damaged and this one is fine. It's in good, very good condition. All right, stepping inside, you can see the condition of the driver mat. It just very nice. As mentioned, it comes with two keys. And uh, let's see what we've got here. All right. Let's just turn it on. And all the warning lights are off. And um, what have we got? Should have a reverse camera, I imagine. Yeah, we've got a reverse camera and a side camera, which is useful. It covers the uh, covers the front corner there, and uh, the uh, all the usual glove boxes. There's a whole set of uh, manuals in here. They have put in some rather nice. Uh, nice quality little cup holders um, on the sides there by the vents, although there is one here already, but the driver also has one, and uh, they're very nice, so we've left them in. Uh, there's a slight door control on this side, there's um, cruise control here, and uh, Bluetooth and audio controls all on the steering wheel. We notice under here there's um, amps for these tweeter speakers. They've um, amplified, they've uh, upped the amplification in the audio system. So you're going to have very nice sound. Um, as I say, it's got rear entertainment. The um, what else does it have? Shut the sliding door. Uh, anything else? Well, it's got this center, little center box here. Uh, I believe that's pretty standard. Uh, and it's got you know, the options for two wheel drive, four wheel drive, and uh, diff lock. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a proper, proper off roader and especially since it's got the uh, lift-up suspension. Uh, as I say, the Dropbox photographs will give you uh, details of the lift-up suspension. It's got a rear, uh, it's got a, sorry, a drive recorder that will also be taken off and mailed. Just less temptation. Um, yeah. And uh, toggle, I mean, uh, what do you call them? A paddle shift. Uh, controls here. Uh, anything else? No, I don't think so. Um, we can take a uh, take a look at the engine bay. Let's see where we pull this. Okay, turn that off. 
<clears throat> yeah, these, uh, for example, these chrome strips, that's, uh, that's a, and an option. I don't know if there's a dealer option or an aftermarket option, but it, it's a nice touch. It's a very nice touch. Normally these are just black plastic. That is just, uh, <clears throat> yeah. And here, just have a set of camera as well, I didn't see that. Um, okay. Engine bay. Just very clean. Okay. This guy definitely didn't do any off-roading. Purely bought it for looks, which is totally fine. Um, here we are, the ocean sheet, grade 4 cc, mm, well, not sure why the C exactly, um, it might have been a bit dirty, I mean we validated the interior but didn't do much, it was basically a wash and go when it came in, um, nothing really to mention. Well, I think there's a tiny touch up on the bonnet, um, and that's about it. And uh, this says power slide door, and it says uh, body lift up. Um, first time in the auction, so I'm not sure if this is a one owner or not. Um, it might very well be. Anyway, 2007 December. And the kilometers are down here, 123, so it converts to 76,000 miles. So, yep. Yeah. Nice clean carpet to the front as well. Door guards all clean. Yeah, if you're looking for, as I say, if you're looking for the, uh, the best off-road four-wheel drive, uh, people carrier, then this is it. The Mitsubishi Delica D5. Um, this is a 2007 December with 76,000 miles. And uh, if this car is of interest to you, then please do talk to Paul at uh, JA and uh, he can. Uh, assist you with the purchasing of it and we can uh, arrange the shipping and presently we are shipping everything by containers um, it was the uh, uh, it's become the uh, the best option for shipping right now it's actually cheaper than uh, roll on roll off and it's more secure because the cars are shipped in containers uh, and this are very securely strapped down in the containers and um, so the shipping time is quicker and it's also cheaper so we um, and th there's container boats leaving every week for the UK which is um, a lot more reliable and, uh, and uh, quicker than uh, roll, roll, roll on roll off again thank you for watching and uh, we'll uh, Probably have more cars coming your way, but anyway, let Paul know if this Delica is of interest. And thanks for watching. Bye for now. We are a UK based personal car import agent trading since 2004. We have a proven track record supplying thousands of Japanese cars direct from Japan to customers throughout the UK. Working as your appointed agent for a fixed commission, we provide a four-step personal car import service. This is an opportunity to cherry pick and safely buy the best high-grade, low mileage cars direct from Japanese car auctions at export trade prices for personal import to the UK. You will make large savings on UK retail prices while buying the best quality cars available in Japan. It's a genuine win-win opportunity. Before the auction starts, background checks and hands-on inspection are carried out by the Japanese staff. Under Japanese law, any accident history or mileage discrepancy must be declared by the auction and shown on the auction report. 
The truth is the best cars normally stay in Japan. They are bought by Japanese dealers for resale because the best cars will pass a strict Japanese roadworthy test, known as a shaken. Shaken failures are seen in Japan as fits for recycle or export. Many turn up in the UK without the auction port to maximize the dealer's profit margins. So it's vital to see a genuine translation of the auction report before the sale starts. Once we have found a particular car, we next arrange our hands on inspection to confirm the condition matches the auction report and take a large number of photos. Keep in mind, we are not car dealers buying and selling for profit. Why supply bad cars? When it's just as easy to supply a great car from the fountain of supply and simply keep adding to our long established superb track record. Check out our customer reviews or head to our YouTube channel found on our website to see the quality of the cars we supply. To learn more, pick up the phone and speak to us direct without obligation. Ask for Paul. Telephone 01625-560-505 or mobile 07989-560-505. Our email sales at japautoagent.com.